Alright, this is the second method on solving systems of equations, two equations and two unknowns using the addition method. Here we have uh, a system with decimals in it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of all the decimals. So to get rid of the decimals, see we need to move the decimal one, two places. One, two, one, two. So we need to multiply this first equation by 100. And the second equation, we need to move the decimal 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 places. So we need to multiply this second equation by 100 also. And multiplying by 100 moves the decimal two places to the right. So we have 2x minus 5y equals negative 38. And then we have 3x plus 4y equals 104. Now, let's go ahead and eliminate the x values. So to eliminate the x values, I want to multiply this first equation by 3 and the second equation I want to multiply it by negative 2. See, that'll give me 3 times 2x is 6x, and negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. So when I add 6x and negative 6x, that'll give me 0. The x's will go out. So multiply 3 to the first equation. I get 6x minus 15y equals negative 114. Then I multiply negative 2 to the second equation. So that gives me negative 6x plus, I'm sorry, minus 8y equals negative 208. Now, I can add the two equations. The x's go out, and so I'm left with negative 23y equals negative 322. Divide both sides by negative 23, and so I get y equals... 14. Now, I need to take y and I need to plug it back in to one of these equations here. I can plug it into any one. Well, I'm going to plug it into this one right here. The 3x plus 4y equals 104. So I get 3x plus 4 times y, and in the place of y, I'm going to put 14, and that equals 104. So that gives me 3x plus 6. 56 equals 104. So I get, so I subtract 5x, I mean 56x to both sides. So I get 3x equals 48. Divide both sides by 3. I get x equals 16. So my solution is 16, 14. Now, let's take a look at another problem with fractions as the coefficients in front of the variables. So, when I solve this, I want to get rid of the fractions. So, I want to multiply this first equation by the common denominator 
of 3 and 2. So I'm going to multiply the first equation by 6. Then I want to get rid of the fraction in the second equation, so I want to multiply it by the common denominator of 3 and 4, which is 12. So when I multiply, I get 3x minus 4y equals 42. Then multiply 12 to the second equation, so I get 8x minus 9y equals 132. Now I need to get rid of one of the variables. So I'm going to get rid of the x, the x, uh, the x's. So I'm going to multiply this by negative 8 and I'm going to multiply the second equation by 3. So that gives me negative 24x plus 32y equals 336. And then multiply 3 to the second equation, I get 24x minus 27y equals 396. I add negative 24x plus 24x is 0, so the x's go out. And then I'm left with 5y equals 60. Divide both sides by 5. I get y equals 12. Now I need to figure out what x is. So I can plug y into any of these equations here. So I'm going to substitute y into this, uh, this equation here 3x minus 4y equals 42. So I have 3x minus 4 times y, and in the place of y, I'm going to put 12, and that equals 42. So I get 3x minus 48 equals 42. Add 48. So I get 3x equals 90. Divide both sides by 3. I get x equal 30. So my solution is 30 and 12. And there's my answer. I'll do a third video uh, solving systems of equations where we have no solution and an infinite number of solutions. That'll be the third and and last video. And that's all for this one, for the second video.